Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Midget Games here, and sorry, um, I'm having some technical difficulties today, and there's gonna be no, um, camera for you guys, but I decided I still wanted to play this for you. It's Pokemon Week here on the channel, so we're gonna be doing some Pokemon Stadium here, folks. Let's go ahead and get right into it, folks. We're gonna be doing the Gym Leader Castle Challenge. So we got the Pure Gym Brock. Alright, here we go, guys. We bring you this battle live from ha -ha. Gym Leader Castle. How will our intrepid challenger fare against the best of the best? Alright, we have our first one. Metapod versus Charizard. Should be a quick, easy one here since uh, Grass type it or Bug are weak to Fire type. Here's so this should be a quick, easy one right here, folks. And Fire Thor. Wow. I missed that one. That's terrible. Alright, here. Fire spin again, guys. Come on, let's go ahead and do this here. What'll it do? Miss the target. Jesus Christ. I forgot how bad I played at Pokemon Up Stadium. On it, <laughs> um, fire spin was not the uh, most reliable move back in Pokemon Stadium. I totally forgot about that. What so we're going to try that again here. here. And... Yeah, finally connected. That's good. But Metapod's already like pretty high up there. It does go to the four turns. Or two to five turns. Sorry, there we go. Um, <coughs> and it's knocked out. That is down. All right, the that is one of three, and we are crashed. going so strong with Charizard at 161. Oh, it's Caterpie! All right, Caterpie oh, next. I'll just go ahead and fly him. Fire Spin's not terribly reliable for me right now. And we don't have to worry about hard anymore, so I should just be able to avoid anything, so I avoid the tackle. Yep, Charizard's just like, I'm chilling up here, baby. I am just chilling. Okay, so we're going on. He's using Fly, and it hits super effective. Will it knock Caterpie out? Yes, it does. Nice, sweet. Two for two there. Charizard hasn't taken any damage, and we're continuing on through this match. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. All right, so we're going to head on to the next one. The last one is going to be Butterfree. Hmm. The remaining Pokemon count is uh, three let's one. just go ahead and fly. Let's the see if we can do this again here. One the continues. Try to use Mega Drain, and it should not hit. And that's good, because they just fly. So he'll try to move again, but I get priority with my charger at speed. Use fly, it hits. And... Oh, 28 left. For the next attack. Neither one okay, Whirlwind. Let's see. Let's use Fly. How about that? That way I can avoid the Whirlwind attack. And get in there and get the final blow in. What'll it do? Yep, it missed like usual. It still does the animation, which I thought was interesting back in Pokemon Stadium days. So, all right, using fly here, and they'll knock it out. That is Bug Trainer down. And I took zero damage, so I will get a perfect, and I should get a bonus continue here. Yep, we're gonna continue here. We're going to the next one. Alrighty here, Pidgeot versus Bulbasaur. Um, start with Mirror Move. Let's go ahead and go with that. The move failed oh. to flip. Derp. Okay, that's my Here's bad the there. It didn't do much when I got speed They're against Bulbasaur. Now I'll just go ahead and fly and we'll just go ahead and take care of Bulbasaur here since I have priority on him. 
All right, Bulbasaur is trying to use Mega Drain, but What's it should next? fail because I am in flight mode. That's a bit. And that is correct. And we'll go ahead and hit the next one here. Pidgeot will use Fly. Let's see how much damage it does. Super effective, and it will almost knock Bulbasaur out. Three left. What now? That was weak. And instead of using, I'll just use Quick Attack and take him out. Shouldn't be more than eight damage, so it should be pretty easy there. And that knocks Bulbasaur out. Sweet. All right. Way to go, Pidgeot. Which Pokemon is coming out? All righty. Next up here, Gloomy. Gloom. All righty. The Pokemon weird. are entirely different types. But again, I have type advantage and speed advantage, so it shouldn't be much of a problem here. It flew up high. What will it do? Miss the target. And it tries to use absorb and misses, and so priority again. I will get to hit Gloom with a fly attack. attack. And. Does a good amount of damage, just right around two thirds of its attack or HP power, what so not enough to really effect. make me want to use my quick attack again, Fox though. So I will go ahead and fly back. again. So this is exciting. Let's see, it goes up in there, and Gloom will use what Absorb. Doesn't do anything. It's in a flight mode. This should be another easy win here for us, guys. And we'll get down to that third Pokemon here, and we'll go ahead and take this trainer as well. Alright. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. And there's Oddy, so this is an Oddish, which is a lot less HP, and it's a little bit lower defense Pokemon, so I should be able to fly and take him out no problem. We'll see if it knocks it out or if it'll get pretty low HP that I can use a quick attack. What now? That's a Absorb won't do anything I there, and we'll go ahead and hit him battle. here with Fly. Savage attack. Whoa, that's tough. And it oh, knocks it out. That is awesome. One hit wonder. All right, that's two, two for four, guys. So we need to get on the next trainer, and then eventually the gym leader. Woo! We'll use Charizard this time. It's the gym's third opponent. All right, this time we won't use Charizard, but we'll use Vaporeon. Duck Trio. All righty. Let's go ahead and we'll surf and see if we get priority. Nope. Duck Trio got priority. It's got speed. Oh, that is not good. That is terrible. Oh, ho, ho, that that blows. That that this sucks. This is a wild one from the word go. Alrighty, we got to use No King here, and we're gonna have to run the table, I guess, with him. Oh, it's Nido King. It's two Pokemon against three now. We'll try this to use Earthquake here. Up in the air. He's gonna try to use Fissure again. Ah! And a miss. Target. That's great. Now we're gonna use Earthquake, and Earthquake does hit. There we go. Get some nice damage on there, the and oh, it's... Rages on. let's see, ten left. Should be able to double With kick him out here. It's the All right, double kick. Double kick. Oh. And that will work. Wow. Knocked out that Doug Trio. So our best One bet's Pokemon probably use Nooking the rest of the way next. here. Unless we get a fine type, which might be the case, oh, but alright, we got Geodude. Alright. We're evenly matched with two Pokemon aside. Neither Pokemon is back Let's in go ahead and we'll just run a Nerd Earthquake here. Now back in Pokemon Stadium, Levitate was not a thing yet. Whoa. So Geodude doesn't have the uh, benefit of that. He's gonna use Explosion. He's gonna put some good damage on my Nidoking here. 
Wow. Ooh, no Skull. king survived that yeah. one. Not by much, but he did. There's and Juju fainted. Pokemon left in reserve. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, it's Pidgey. It's a Pidgey. Oh. All right, so we Pokemon may or may not have speed here. The tenth battle can be. Huh. He might avoid Earthquake. Let's go with the Horn Drill. What a K.O. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Nice. We got lucky. Da, 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 da. We got lucky. Da, 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 da. Alright, we are on to the final guy. We are on the Brock. Ooh. Okay, here, and we're gonna be starting off with Vaporeon versus Onyx. And let's go ahead and we'll surf. We'll take him out with a nice quick surf attack. And wow, Here's Onyx the is move. faster? There's a little damage. You wouldn't expect Onyx to be faster than Vaporeon, but we'll see here. It can't make a move. Alrighty, There's so a Bind's a two, three turn like move. That. I might get speed priority with no king. We'll see. If I can run an earthquake on him. How will the swap Pokemon fight? We'll see how that works. I got double kick as well, which is also going to be decently effective against a rock type like Onyx here. Earthquake, it's super effective. Let's see, can we knock him out? Nope. He'll do 40. Or he'll have 40 left. And he'll use Earthquake back at me. And Earthquake again, and we should be able to stop him here. There we go. We finally got rid of Onyx. I'm surprised in Pokemon Stadium that priority did not go to Vaporeon. Onyx shouldn't be that fast. Which Pokemon is coming out? Um, typically because of weight and size, he shouldn't be at that fast. Oh, Pokemon. it's Cubo! <coughs> it has to make up for lost ground. The remaining Pokemon count is three. Let's go with a double two. kick here and let's take care of Cubo in that way. What's that? Oh. And that doesn't do a whole lot. Phone club. <coughs> What now? Smack the weak spot. Neither one is conceding an inch. All right, let's go ahead and earthquake. Let's see if we can knock him out here. <coughs> Damage attack. What the Critical weak hit. Come on. E oh. So I will Fight lose my Nidoking. King. Yeah, it's a hit. Oh, it's down. Alrighty, we're, we're gonna have to go to another one Pokemon. here. Let's go with Vaporeon. I think that's a good Let's choice go here. We have him on champ, but I would have to save him Here's just in case we need to have a backup plan. The Pokemon are entirely different types. And should be a little okay here. I think we have PR of Coupon here. Yes we do. Surf will Why knock it out. Sir? <coughs> and with that being said, Cubone is down. Alright, we got one more to go here. Omnimite. Interesting. Okay, we can battle, but... Let's use... Let's use an ice move. Let's use Aurora Eight Beam. Let's see how that does. I think my Himachan has an electric move. Here. We'll see here. I believe it's electric and ice, but we'll see. What's this? Four attack hit here. There, it's a 
and not a lot of damage, so we should be okay. What a furious battle! Hmm. You know what, let's go with, let's try to switch out, see if we can do him on chance, see if he's got anything that we can use. Here's a Pokemon We're, we do have a two oh, Pokemon lead, so it's not a terribly bad situation right now. We can afford to switch and take a hit. What's that? <coughs> Major damage! How will the swap Pokemon fight? All right, let's use Thunder Punch and let's see if we can put some damage on him. Vigorous attack. Perfect game. Super effective and doesn't do much damage at all. That, that, that upsets me. What now? That's a good that hit. was a, basically a waste of a switch. Yeah. It down. That, 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 that upsets me slightly. So Vaporeon will Both have to take care of him. But we do have a little bit of a HP lead here. Um, 213 versus 2121 here. There's just one Pokemon aside now. The battle is coming right down. Let's to go the ahead and use our ice beam here. Let's see if we can freeze him. It gives him easy quick damage then. What will it do? It's not very effective. It's gonna use surf on me, and it shouldn't do a whole lot of damage since I am a water type. Hit the weak spot. So it's still a critical hit. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Let's see a quick tag me helps me out here. What's that? It didn't do much nope, damage. it only did six damage. It's gonna what surf now? on me again here. Holy shit, we might be in trouble, folks. The attack wasn't effective. The heated battle rages on! Aurora Beam's gotta be it. Just keep hitting him with that and it hopefully either freeze him or just do enough damage to survive. Okay, one more hit should do it here. We're just hoping. We're just hoping what we hit? can survive this hit. And that not very effective weak. and we should be okay here. Neither one should be able to pull this out, but not by hit. much. But we will pull it out here, folks. Oh, wow. We're going to have to do one more round. Hopefully we can survive this surf. Oh, no way. And we take the first loss of the day, folks. Damn. So that's the restring strategy and get back at it. Okay, folks, we are back here with another uh, attempt to add Brock. So we go with attempt number two here, and now I've kind of learned my lesson of not starting Vaporeon um, as my main character versus his team just in case. All right, so he's got his three all set. Let's go. No King, Vaporeon, and Hitmonchan. Yes. And he does go with Onyx first from time. So let's go ahead and we'll Earthquake. We'll start it off with a strong move. And we do have priority with Noodle King, so we will take that earthquake and shove it up to Onyx. Like and he takes down to 38, and he's gonna earthquake me back. Super effective and critical. Can we survive? No, we do not. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to run. Hit my chance on our next character. Um, Vaporia might not do what we need to do, so. Oh, it's Hitmon Chan! It has to make up for lost ground. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Let's use submission. And we do have priority, so we should be able to take Onyx. And it's super effective. Nice. And it's down! Alright, so that solves that problem right there for us, folks. What will the next Pokemon be? Alright, who we got next? After Onyx. Omnimite. 
The Pokemon are entirely different types. Since he is Water Rock, let's try some mission again, because Thunder Punch did okay, but it didn't do great last time we did it. So another submission. And it's target. miss. That's gonna use what Surf. Can we hit survive? And we're gonna barely survive with 25 here. We gotta have that submission connect. We gotta have it connect. Come on, connect. Oh. Fuck. Wow. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's Vaporeon! It's one Pokemon against two now. The tenth battle continues. Oh, we'll try to surf. Why not? I just want to see what it does. See if it does any damage on them. The bear hit! Ooh, it actually does regular damage on Mike. That might be interesting. That might be a good way to get us back into this game. Triple spike cannon. Not too much damage. Neither one is conceding an eighth. And we'll surf again here. Since that did such good damage, I was actually impressed that it did that much damage. Come on, let's knock it out. And we did. Nice. Is it down and out? Can we survive? Can we go? Can we go the distance with Vaporeon? And we got Graveler. That is the best matchup possible. There's just one Pokemon aside. So we should have speed. And Surf should do an incredible amount of damage here. Super effective. And it will knock out Graveler, and we did it, folks. We took down Brock. That's it. Stay clear. Woo! Receive the key from Brock and open Misty's Tower. All righty, guys. We will see you in the next episode here of Pokemon Stadium. I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, leave a like. If you do want to see more great content, please do subscribe today, guys. As always, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play Pokemon.